Hi, Gary Golka from DAS. You're actually looking at a new device that we just created. Its sole purpose is to detect shadows or contrast changes in light. Now this can also include luminous intensity changes, anything that would interfere or obstruct in any subtle form the space between the light source and the receiver. Now what you're looking at is on the left we have the receiver box which is quite large because it's a prototype. When it's all said and done it's going to be two-thirds less in terms of size. And on the right side we have a light source. We're using uh, green high-intensity LEDs, not a laser-based system, although you can use a laser as well. And we're using a wavelength of about 532 nanometers. So light being energy, our goal here is to look for contrast and uh, different forms of changes. Now to simulate that, I have the detection system at a right angle or perpendicular to the light source. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little cosine error or tilting of the light source so that you can see how it affects the uh, display. The display will uh, turn green for less light and red for more light. So let's just take the light source and I'm going to start tilting it gently. Okay, let's bring it down. Give it a little more light. You see it turning red. I'm going to turn the light source away from the box and it goes green. Okay, so you basically have a fluctuation of light being detected and analyzed. Now let's bring it down to the home position which is about there. Now the goal here is if I move, because I have a light source behind me, if I move you can see it's detecting the light that's behind me. If I move closer it's going to get darker because I'm blocking more light. If I, if I reflect the light off my hand, it's detecting it. If I cover some of the light source over here, you can see it turns green. Okay, so my, my thought process here is that light is energy and I believe that spirit has the ability of manipulating uh, that type of energy photons are the most basic elemental particles in the universe. My intention was to try to come up with something new that would allow us to use it in different types of environments and see if we can get some something new to learn by. The device can be used uh, 40, 50 feet apart. Anything that crosses it will be indicated on the display. And you can also this will eventually have sound, so each LED will generate a uh, very specific tone separated by a, a one octave step so that you'll be able to hear how much light is being manipulated and we'll see where it goes. That's it. I uh, hope to have this product out in the next couple of months.